Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. History of Namibia Namibia is a country located on the southwestern coast of Africa. Officially known as the Republic of Namibia, it borders Angola in the north, Zambia in the northeast, Botswana in the east, South Africa in the east and south, and lastly, the Atlantic Ocean in the west. Being the country with the second lowest population density in the world, it has a population of about 2.7 million people. As expected of an African country, about 85% of the population is black, 5% of European ancestry, and others are referred to as the coloreds. Half of the population comes from the Ovambo ethnicity, while others come from the Damara, Herero, and Himba groups. Namibian whites are generally of German, British, Afrikaner, and mixed origin. About 13 languages are spoken in the country, of which 8 are recognized as national languages, with English language as the official language. This helps to ease communication among groups and foster national unity. Most Namibians speak two or more indigenous languages, as well as a little of the three European languages, that is, English, Afrikaans, and German. Christianity is the most practiced religion with about 80% to 90% of the population belonging to the faith. Protestants make up about 75% of the Christians while others belong to Catholic, Anglican, Methodist and other denominations. The remaining populace practice Islam, Judaism or traditional religion. Before Europeans landed in Namibia, the San, Damara and Nama people were the first inhabitants of the deserts of Namibia before the Bantu tribe started moving in from Central Africa in the 14th century. The 18th century witnessed the influx of the Orlam people from Cape Colony into what is known as Southern Namibia with accompanying missionaries. They were shown hospitality by the Nama tribe and they continued their exploration together. However, they were not so lucky with the Gobabis, Hova Herero, and Okahanja who denied them access to their lands. This led to the Nama Herero War in 1880, which was subdued by German troops and the dispute was settled. Although some Portuguese navigators explored the area between 1485 and 1486, they did not attempt to colonize the area. It wasn't until the 19th century that Europeans from Germany and Sweden started traversing the area for trade and some settled there. Otto von Bismarck of Germany colonized Namibia in 1884 in order to prevent the British from colonizing the lands, so it was known as German South West Africa at that time. Due to the harsh treatment received from the Germans, the Namakwa and Herero tribes staged a coup against the Germans between 1904 and 1907, but it failed and both tribes were executed out in the Ova Herero and Namakwa genocide. About half of the Nama tribe population, that is 10,000, and 80% of the Herero, that is 65,000, were killed in the genocide. The remaining were detained for a while and later released to a life of racial discrimination, deportation, and harsh treatment. Although the German government apologized for the genocide in 2004, the memory had been passed down through generations and reflects in Namibian ethnic identity and their relations with Germany. Apartheid South African troops took the area away from the Germans and colonized it during World War I. The South African government was permitted to rule the country until it could attain independence in the future, but no attempt was made to prepare Southwest Africa for the supposed independence. 
even when the UN passed a motion that territories under League of Nations mandate should be returned to their trusteeship council in preparation for independence, the colonial government of South Africa refused to surrender and this led to appetite. In order to gain independence, Southwest African People's Organization, that is SWAPO, was formed in 1966 and an insurgence arose. The insurgents were determined and started acquiring weapons and military training from Cuba, Angola, and Soviets by 1975. The war pressure eventually wore South Africa out and its government finally accepted Namibian independence with some conditions. Ceasefires were adopted, broken, and reimposed until all South African troops left the Namibian territory and all war prisoners and refugees were granted amnesty in 1989. The country's first election was conducted and SWAPO won 57% of the Constituent Assembly. The country gained its independence officially on the 21st of March 1990 with Sam Nujoma as the first president. A constitution had been drawn prior to the election in the same year with provisions for human rights, independent judiciary, executive president and national assembly. Ever since Namibia gained independence, multi-party democracy has been practiced. Several political parties have risen and won seats at the National Assembly. Elections are conducted regularly at the local, regional, and national levels, although SWAPO has been winning presidential elections since independence. Amnesty has been granted to all political fighters during the war. The country joined the Coalition of Southern African Development Community, SADP, and has managed to keep the ethnic groups united since independence. Although there was an attempt by the rebel group named Caprivi Liberation Army to form their own society, but their plans were put to naught by the government. Namibia is a beautiful country with several beautiful sites for visitors from around the world. It is home to several national parks and game reserves like Etosha National Park, Skeleton Coast Park, Cape Cross Seal Reserve, Caprivi Strip, Twiffle Fontaine, and many other grandiose destinations. It offers superb wildlife viewing and excellent landscapes for nature lovers. It is also home to the famous Kalahari Desert and Namib Desert. One of the major industries in the country is mining. Namibia supplies about 30% of total world diamond output and remains one of the largest suppliers of diamond in the world today. Other mineral resources mined in the country are uranium, copper, zinc, tin, silver, gold, lead, arsenic, and cadmium. With a GDP of about $14.368 billion, nominal in 2019, higher than average for other countries in sub-Saharan Africa, Namibia can be said to have a lower middle income economy, although about two-thirds of the population live in abject poverty. Namibia is prone to environmental pollution since accessing their natural resources can have impacts on the environment. However, tourism, livestock production, and crop farming are beginning to contribute to the economic growth of the country. The country is rich in cultural diversity, therefore, they have various festivals and events marked yearly. October 1st, Lusata Festival, Herero Day, Enjando Street Festival, Windek Art Festival are just a few of festivals with national recognition in the country. Religious festivals like Christmas and Easter are also observed across the country. Also, the Namibian music scene is blessed with talented and extraordinary singers, some of which are rated among the biggest stars throughout the continent. They include Sonny Boy, Nianel, The Dog, Stefan Ludig, among others. The movie industry here has also flourished over the years. 
It has contributed to the production of blockbuster Hollywood movies like Mad Max Fury Road and 2001 A Space Odyssey, which were filmed in Namibia. As far as international relations are concerned, Namibia is an important member of Southern Africa and has active social, political and economic interactions with its surrounding countries in the region and beyond. The country is a member of international organizations like the United Nations, African Union and Commonwealth of Nations, among others. Namibia is a developing country with a proactive system working hard towards advancing it. Although they have been through a lot in the past, the people are devoted to moving forward. What have we missed out of this history? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.